Okay, today I'm going to talk about pendulum magic. I'm going to talk about divination. And a pendulum is one of the tools that we use in divination. We're going to be using the pendulum mat here. As you see, it has answers on the mat. And, and spirits can see this and know how they want to answer a question. A lot of people use a pendulum and, and just say, show me a yes, show me a no, show me a maybe. But meanwhile, maybe there's other answers that a spirit would like to to use so here we got rephrase we got maybe try again will not answer you could ask you could ask a question that a spirit doesn't want to answer and and this way they can let you know and just puts everything here for them that they could want to say um here is my pendulum now i did charge this underneath the blood moon last night and I, I just got it this morning I put it on a tree stump I charged it overnight and uh, it is ready to go now I will say if you just got your pendulum you might want to give it a good cleansing get some sea salt and fill a bowl with sea salt put your pendulum in there completely cover it and uh, just say a little blessing over it say a little prayer and cleanse your pendulum before you use it because you never know who touched it and you might not want their energy attach to your pendulum. There are many tools that we can use in divination. There are pendulums, there are tarot cards, Ouija boards, dowsing rods. Um, some people nowadays prefer to use a spirit box to communicate with their spirits and try and find the answers that they're looking for. There are runes, there are divination dice. There are so many things. There are things that you can take and use in divination that um, aren't popular divination tools. I mean, you can use a pencil and ask a spirit to manipulate it and give you the answer that you're looking for. So everything is done through energy and everything is connected to your craft. Um, a relationship with the spirit, a relationship with the elements, with the atmosphere, with nature, with your stones, your crystals, your, um, your herbs, everything that you use is a part of your craft it's all tied together because it all comes from the same place it comes from the earth it comes from our being our involvement so most pendulums are some form of crystal usually at the end of a chain and you want to hold it steady and you want it to um, show you your answer so you're going to ask it to show you a yes show you no show you maybe in this case here i've already built a relationship with my pendulum and this mat clearly has the answers that we are asking for that we're looking for so um, it, it's a pretty cool thing to pick up the mats are pretty cheap it's less than ten dollars you can order one uh, get free shipping on it it'll be to you in like two to three days and pendulums are pretty inexpensive too i mean you can you can get pendulums for under 15 bucks on ebay also free shipping so i usually get ones that call to me st certain stones that i like to work with uh, my favorite is amethyst of course so uh, I was born in February and my birthstone is amethyst it's a great stone to work with you can use it in so much protection healing just the, the list goes on I mean you can really make it what you want it to be it has a lot of energy a lot of power so you can harness that and and you can use it in your workings whatever works for you okay so the first thing you want to do is you want to center it up and you want to hold it nice and steady and you want your pendulum to, to give you the answers, okay? So be very still, ask a question, and wait for a response. Are me and my wife going to have another baby? Okay, see, almost immediately there. Wow, it's pulling pretty strong. We gotta know. Okay, could you please stop now? looks like it's wanting to do what usually I would call a maybe where it just goes in circles are we going to have a new president next term uh, there again we're getting a no and as I said in the beginning usually the no's are my yeses so the mat is laid out a little different and uh, I guess we're getting a no oh hold on Maybe it's indecisive here. Looks like we're getting a little bit of everything. Okay, could you please hold for another question?
Are there a lot of spirits in my home? Is there evil here? Yes. I don't doubt it. I work with a lot of demons and, and conjure a lot of things that are... Some are ancient, some are, are from bad cases. Please hold. Do you miss being alive? Wow. Pretty fierce swinging action going there. Can you please stop? That was rephrase will not answer. Um, do you miss parts about life? I got a yes there. Okay, can you please stop now? Do you feel lonely in your spirit life? Wow, it's really going to will not answer. Wow. Please hold. Did you die here in this house? A pretty strong no there. A fierce no. Okay, can you please hold so I can ask you another question? Instantly stopped. How do you feel about us living here? Uh, kind of looks like rephrase and will not answer. Hold. Do you want us to move? Yes. Well, that's not going to happen. Please stop. Please hold. We got a no there. Holy shit, something just moved in my hallway. Hold, please. Do you hate us being here? Yes. Is that because this was your home? Wow, oh, holy shit, dude. Wow. Oh my god, it's moving so hard. Alright, please stop. Hold, please. All right, so right there, we got some pretty powerful answers, and um, it's very simple, you know, how you do this. You're you're only holding it by the top of the chain here, and you're going to hold it nice and steady. And you're going to ask for the answers, and this stone will be manipulated by the spiritual energy. Uh, how it all works is very fascinating, but it is a really cool tool. And if you're looking at, to get into um, ghost hunting or witchcraft, and you just want to dabble a little bit, it's a very good way to start because, like I said, it's very inexpensive. So for a lot of people, um, it's, it's a good way to come in here, you know, just have to spend a little bit of money, test the water, see how you like it. But uh, it's also very beneficial because I have asked this thing, stuff before that uh, only I would know, only people I know would know, and I've got the right answers. So I definitely would say if you do decide to pick up a pendulum, go ahead and pick up the mat as well. Um, so, you know, it makes it a little bit easier for the, the spirits. It gives them more options, like I said. My name is Jody Dean, Mr. Hunting the Dead. And uh, there's over 400 videos here on my channel. A lot of paranormal stuff, some witchy stuff, some live streams. Go ahead and, and just go on a little bit of a binge. Check out my stuff. Leave some comments below. Be sure to share, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much, guys.